So, the other big kit that I got for my birthday, the Malkador in furnace. Big old tank with a whopping great flamer on the top there. Gonna be absolutely beautiful. So, Ford World uh, again on the good old instruction leaflets parts list. Couple of um, bits and pieces shots. Actually has a trailer that this one tows, so it's got an actual ball joint coupling there. Um, that's going to be fun to model. Might have to magnetise the actual coupling to the back of the tank so that I can take them apart for storage. Um, it just would make a lot more sense really. Um, but it is going to be absolutely brilliant. I mean just look at that. Um, hatch panel there so I can have one of the gunners coming out the back, hands onto the stubber there, just oh brilliant. So look, stubbers, uh, sponsor mounted weapons there, could have flamers, las guns, bolters. Um, I'm quite tempted to go flamers all around because it'd just be awesome. Um, I have no idea where the rules are for this particular model. I don't really care because it is just so, so awesome. Um, so the bag, again, is one of the bigger workshop bags. It comes with a little bag within it. But the first thing I've got to get out here to show you uh, I mean just look at that that is a flamer if ever you've seen one and if you've never seen one oh oh just look at it I mean that is just beautiful there are no words and to have that pointed at you putting out a gout, a gout of flame when you know your average guardsman isn't exactly a big boy there you go Guardsman with a flamer. The flamer that's on this tank. I mean, oh, it's, oh, it's just going to be beautiful. Get this thing built. It's going to be amazing. The actual tracks for the Malkador. The Malkador is not a big tank. It's only a little fella, really, compared to things like the Stormlords, Baneblades. Um, heck, even to the normal Imperial Guard tanks. Where's that Chimera? Half painted Chimera. Melkador. Track. And just to really hammer home the size difference. Stormlord. So, ain't too big. But uh, very, very pretty looking tank. Really, I'm looking forward to doing this one. Let's put all that lot back Ugh. and away. Obviously, tracks not mounted on there. Um, track covers across the actual tops there. Little bit molded onto the actual tank. And then the rest of the tank, uh, track even, is uh, plastic sprue. So, not resin, actual plastic sprue. So um, this is going to give me some spare tracks, which I'm going to uh, drill through and hang off the tank. Um, a little trick that I've learned from my good buddy Brian. Good old Templar's Crusader one. Um, so this is the actual body of the tank. And um, I have a feeling I'm going to be uh, having to paint this all separately before I get it assembled. And when I say paint this all, I mean going over to my good buddy Brian's and going, Brian, um, you know, you've got your airbrush. Can I borrow it, please? Um, he'll probably go, yeah, that's fine, buddy. Um, hopefully, he'll go, yeah, that's fine, buddy. Otherwise, you know, I'm in for a long time painting this stuff. But, oh, so nice. So nice. Little hatch in the front there. Ooh, uh, that's where the coupling for the trailer goes, I believe. Um, and the other bit that we get in there is the actual trailer piece. It's obviously wheels on either side, it gets towed along behind and it's the, uh, as far as I know, it's the fuel tanker for the actual Infernus cannon. And look at that breach in the back there. All the detail on the doors. Oh, I'm going to have the time of my life making a mucky mess of this. It's going to be brilliant. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, let me just rebag all of this before I lose it all. You know, one of these days I will get a hobby that's not going to be so expensive and 
I won't know what to do with myself. So main components in there, and then we've got lots of little detaily bits in the other bags. So they are quite obviously the wheels for the trailer at the back. And then you've got things like the uh, the coupling. So that's the ball joint coupling that goes onto the back of the tank to tow the trailer. All kinds of little covers and hatches. I mean, look, look at that. That's just that's really nice piece. Uh, it could really do some nice weathering around there because it's clearly a hatch that gets opened quite a bit. Um, it's a sponson port, I believe that is. So you'll have engineers in and out of there, the actual side sponson into there. Weapons wise, for the side sponsons, they give you two of these sprues. Uh, so we've got, what have we got there? Auto gun, las gun, uh, heavy bolter, flamer. Smeg only knows what that middle bit is. It looks like a radio antenna. Um, what have we got in here? Another one of those sprues, but it uh, looks like some bits have come off in the bag. They're floating around in the bottom. The hatch doors. Piping. Uh, more bits for the ball joints. Uh, ball for the ball joints. And the actual thing that leads to it. The other side sponsor. More little bits of piping and of what looks like exhaust vents and a fan there. Well, not looks like a fan, is a fan. Oh, stubbers. Ah, wait a second. There you go. That's what that is. It's a stubber barrel. Oh, I could have used that on the uh, broken one on the Stormlord. But uh, never mind. We also have more piping in there. So the one thing really that this kit doesn't have is um, a gunner or a driver. It doesn't come with uh, any of the other kits. Um, the other Malkador uh, battle tanks, like the, uh, the Defender, the Annihilator, they come with um, two uh, driver options. Obviously the Renegade driver for the Renegades and the Loyalist driver, oddly enough, for the Loyalists. Um, now, I do have, knocking about somewhere, ignore all the computer buzzing in the background there, it's just saying it's finished another video. Um, I've got, knocking around somewhere, a couple of these guys, the actual um, Renegade Tank Commander kit. Um, so I've got another one of those bodies around somewhere that uh, will definitely be gracing the front of this particular kit. But, um, again, it is just beautiful. So if I pop the hatch panel there, pop a driver into there, or, or a gunner into there, just attach his arms on, and, oh, once more I have to just say, oh, it's gonna be pretty. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is definitely going to be um, a long work in progress. I'm just showing it you at the moment because I am just so ridiculously excited about it. But um, don't hold your breath to be seeing this done in the too near future. Whilst I have got a bit of a bone run for my Renegades, I do have to get more of the Night Lord stuff done first. So just to share what's in the bag, thank you for watching. This is the Malkador Infernus, and it will be back to see you soon.